Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to my Wednesday night live here in Hurricane. Uh, yeah, definitely hurricane weather up here at the moment, nearly getting blown away. Um, so we'll see how it goes, see if the internet stays on. And let's bring the guys in. And here they are. As you can see, they are all suited and booted. They've got absolutely no confidence in my turn ability whatsoever. Uh, so <laughs> we've got uh, JP, obviously, who is protected from the elements. We've got Sugar Vision, who is also protected from the elements. And we've got Mark, just protect the face. <laughs> Do whatever you want, but don't hit this face. <laughs> Not your ability, we wonder about. It's the laws of physics. <laughs> right, let's have a look and see what I've got on the lathe. James camera. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Wayne's got wood. Now, I'm not too sure what the wood is to start off with. Bloody dangerous. <laughs> I'd suggest gnarly. Gnarly, it definitely is. It's about it is seven and gnarly. a half inches deep. It's about. Oh. What's that? Just over a foot high, just over a foot across. Obviously, it's Deep not round. In what direction? <laughs> it's Deep not round. Deep. It's it's not balanced. Um, when I looked at it again, I thought it might have been the land I I'm, I'm not very sure whether it is, to tell you the truth. It's very dry, though. Yeah. Uh, Andy Lilandi. Yeah, Andy Liliani. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy Leylandio. Right, that's missing. Let's get this tool rest down a little bit. So, uh, I am going to be turning at around about 550 to start off with. Hey, I am going to my... be turning from over there. <laughs> yeah. I'll be standing well back towards um, the monitor. So, I'm out of the final line. Just move my keyboard out of the way. God dang it! <laughs> uh, I'm going to start, start about here. Well, I never, I never actually showed you. Um, is it on a faceplate or is it? It's on a faceplate ring. Uh, right, I've got one branch coming round here, which is actually intertwined with this branch coming round here. And I've got other branches sticking out in various parts. There's another one there, which is a bit rotten in the middle. So I don't know how that's going to end up. But um, I'll carry on. You, you, if you had, if you had mounted that differently, that would have made a nice handle for a beer stein. Yeah. <coughs> is that I like them German rockers? Oh, no, that's Rammstein. That's yeah. Rammstein. <laughs> that does look a bit sort of... Evergreen Leyland Eye type ish. Yeah. If it is, just be Connection. careful because it does affect some people very badly. All right, let's have a look then. Who have we got in tonight? <coughs> From the top, we've got the heckler himself, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, the hobbit, uh, Mr. Andrew AGK Woodworks. <laughs> 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 He's a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. <laughs> uh, we've got Mr. Andrew Bundy Rowe. We've got Andy H's for turning. We've got <clears throat> the irrepressible Brad R. Uh, we've got Mr. Brian Green from Greenhaven's Creations. Uh, Mr. Fred Gilliver. Uh, Jay's Cabin. James Crawford. We've got the lovely Jen Stern. Uh, Jenny, Jen, Jen, we've got... I'm so happy you know everything. About everything. <laughs> uh, we've got Mr. John Scarborough, uh, John T, uh, Robert Clingspore Abrasives UK, uh, David Laurie Sabiroy, David Rob, uh, Laurie Sabiroy, we've got Lucy Bundy Rowe. Um, David Lucy. We've got... Uh, are you ready, JP? <clears throat> He's in yeah. the house. It's Mr. Mark L. Sometimes, Mark. Sometimes. 
Uh, we've got Mr. Martin Boy, uh, 14 Carat himself, Michael McEwen. How you doing? Mick Jews, uh, Roger Kent, Spider Speed, uh, Susie Swisswood Turner. A little bit. The Mini Valor herself, hey, Wee Val at Tackle Turnings. Got our Susie host just keeping. There you go. <clears throat> We'll find out, no doubt, in a minute. We've got Tony Smith. Uh, oh, Mark's favourite heckler, Wivy Woodshed. Oh, Wivy. <laughs> is he yellow? Is he is. Black? Yeah, he's my groupie. <laughs> Only because he's waiting to see you use yellow and black paint again. Uh, we've got... got my Facebook that used to last night. <laughs> <laughs> we've got uh, Zed at Zombie Wood Turners. Zed! Mr. Barry going. Chitty has popped in there, and so has Adam at I Love Wood Turning. And, and the man himself, <clears throat> Brian at Heart Wood Turning. Mm -hmm. Man with the super fast internet. <clears throat> hey, you know. We know how fast that internet, Wayne, it is, don't we, Wayne? <clears throat> yep, we do. Fast enough, fast enough to beat us in the quiz, that's all I'm going to say. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, we've got Alan Gibb and Andy Best in as well. Bark after I lost there. Yes, it was. Woof. A bit of bark. And I think I'm all up to date. That's all I've got to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Yes. I did, uh, I did see sneaks out there. He is. Our very favourite. Do we all remember oh, the old days? Do we all remember the old days when Jamie could just sit there in the corner and fall asleep during a live? But now yeah. he has to work for it. Yeah. He has buttons to press. Right. Uh, Bonnie's in as well. Good evening, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, doing, Bonnie. Hello. Ted's in. Yes. Bonsoir, Lionel. Lionel's in. Yeah. Ben Jamins in. I've got Bunny on my page during this Sunday. Oh. That should be fun. Oh, yeah. It should be. It should be. Uh, Brad R said uh, to Andrew, he said, uh, I was shopping at woodworking store and saw some uh, Easy Wood Tools mini carbides. I immediately thought, these are Andrew sized. Then I realised, <laughs> nah, they're too big. <laughs> Tommy's just said he's just ordered a water chiller from eBay for his laser. Ooh. No more frozen soda bottles. Nice one. Just ordered a what? Water chiller for his laser. Oh, right. The laser. I'm waiting for my laser to turn up. At the art tour. No, no, it's the one that he gave um, those uh, Chinese people all his details for. Yeah. <laughs> one of them ones. Uh, the 10 watt ones that cut through wood, which is good. Nice. Did that Nigerian prince ever get back to you about all that money? Nah. I told him to give it to Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Khakis. <laughs> I'm just going to give this gouge a little bit of a sharpen. Run, Forrest, run. I'll have a little bit more room. Okay. That sounds like a plan. So besides uh, doing things in uh, yellow and black, Mark, what have you been up to this week? I've been um, making very special pieces. Oh, yeah. 
This week I have mainly been making special pieces. You're not that uh, you're not that that woodturner that makes those special pieces. What, what, do you reckon he is, uh, JP? No, not those ones you can buy on Etsy. No, <laughs> as much as people think I might. I be. think I think he's got that car. <laughs> you never know. You no, never he's, know. <laughs> he's what, a, what car have you got, Mark? Here is it? No, it's no, no. <laughs> at the moment. Oh, oh. What happened to the uh, the Hondora then? The Hondora's gearbox blew up. <laughs> <laughs> but I go to pick it up tomorrow. It's been fixed. Oh, good. Uh, Phil Bolt is watching, and he said, I am watching this on the phone from the airport. There is an unconscious woman on the baggage carousel. She's slowly coming around. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, then. <laughs> Hello, Phil. How are you doing? Evening, Phil. <laughs> uh, and Bonnie said, uh, that prince is supposed to send me a lot of money. I also could get rich selling thousands of Makita drills that I've won. And the iPhone 14s. <laughs> yeah, if you test it, you can keep it, you know. <laughs> uh, John T said, Tommy Cooper sharpening. Not like that. Just like, like that. that. <laughs> Not like that, like that. <laughs> Stuart and Gruley's in. Evening, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Hello to everybody, actually. Sorry, I didn't say hello earlier. Yeah, did, did, you did you hear about the woodcarver who finally finished carving? It was a huge relief. <sighs> Said, Z Zombie, that was a corner. sigh of relief. <laughs> Stand in the corner in shame. Yeah. Dad joke. Dad <laughs> that bit there is totally rotten. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Look, if you're going to keep calling world. it names, it's not going to be A for you. <clears throat> it could be not a ash. Brian said he'll be right back. He's going to feed the 12 deer outside. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well done, lads. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Don't make me have to do it myself. <laughs> There's lots of burry bits in this. I'm going to have to take a bit more off the bottom here so I can actually get the... For a, a mortar to fit what the truck on too. Fred mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. said, "Please with some high velocity lead." Well, well, Brad, uh, my friend who lives in Canada uh, <clears throat> recently ha had uh, two moose in their shop. Uh, one of those ended up with some high velocity lead. <laughs> Wayne, are you going to mortise or tenon? I'm going to mortise it. Okay. Uh, Gav's in, and he says, I told himself yesterday that will stop drinking, but I'm not taking any advice from an alcoholic. <laughs> well done, that man. Uh, Rob from Copper Owl Wood turnings in, and so is Phil Miller. How you doing? Not well. Did he make a witch? Yes. Just crack his second bottle open. There we yeah. go. Right, let's have a look. See, Oof. 
That's a nice gesture, that is, Ed. He, he figures if he drinks the beer, it saves someone else from having to. Nice. Yes, yeah, that's totally true. true. That's what uh, Wayne's Bro doing. Brian with a wise in. For the red wine. Ah, uh, Brian. Uh, Martin at Woody's Creations. Yes, Wayne is doing a massive service to mankind. <laughs> Carney, Carney is in. So, so good they named it twice. Carney, Carney. You cheeky kill. Door 60's here as well. Hello, me. Martin at Woody's Creations, Wayne. He's asking, what wine do you want him to bring at Arrogate? Any. All. All the wine. A nice bottle of um, either Pinotage or Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. What, what, what? Wayne won't tell you this, but he actually really likes Rosé. <laughs> right, Mark. That's it. <laughs> 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 that, is, that is it. You flavoured <laughs> coffee <laughs> drinking <laughs> southerner. <laughs> yeah, you flavoured coffee drinking southerner. <laughs> uh, Robert Klingspoor said he was in Yandles yesterday, and so he went to the Chisels to see if he could identify them. Some poor soul thought that he worked there and asked him for a half inch something or other. He's not sure which of them looked more confused. <laughs> <laughs> you should have turned around and said, Is that 80 grit or 120? <laughs> I've got an 80 grit gouge. <laughs> Zed, don't listen to Brad. Uh, I think I've suffered enough this year. <laughs> Uh, Bonnie, Bonnie said, said the, oh, go on, oh, you go, Mark. No, you don't. Go on. No, 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 you go. No. No, you after can struggle you. with that. No, after you. Right. <laughs> Bonnie says, Pinot Noir, she knows and loves. But what was the other one you said, Wayne? Pinotage. P-I-N-T-O. P-I-N-O-T-E-G-E. P-A-G-E, -E. yeah. Pinotage. It just sounds like ho he ho he ho to me. ho he ho Montage is basically a Geordie way of saying those are. <laughs> I'm going to buy a bottle of rosé now, just for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Brad R says, it's all grapes to me. <laughs> just don't mix the grape and the grain. I'll stick to the rum. <sighs> Only because I ain't got no wine. I'm on Doom Bar. Don't care. You're, you're, you're doomed, all right. <laughs> I'm doomed, yeah. You're doomed. Oh, that is punky. That, that bit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's going to get some Dremel treatment, that is. Uh, Zed said uh, he thinks Pinot Noir translates to smashed with dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think they get the flavour from? <laughs> Is that why they say it goes great with cheese? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Brian's asking me what kind of rum. Well, tonight it's spiced rum. Um, Mr. Captain Morgan's favourite. Douglas Mungham's in. Evening, mate. How you doing?
See, now I like that lathe because no matter how big that was, that lathe didn't jump and shake itself all over the place like mine did the other day. <laughs> <clears throat> That's probably because you've got your welder's mask on. You didn't see it. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> door 60's in. Yep. Hey, door. How you doing? It's all good, man. Uh, Bonnie's asking, Costco has a good, uh, say, say asking, telling me Costco has a good spice rum. <clears throat> I'll ask my brother when he goes, <laughs> say, oi, see if they've got any. <laughs> no, pumpkin spice in a rum. Oh, God, no. No, just, just generally spiced rum, Mark. It'll soon be time where you can get a gingerbread latte from Costco. From, uh, Costa. Can't wait. <laughs> well, you can actually get gingerbread spiced rum, um, Captain Morgan's do. And they also do an apple spiced rum, but I weren't keen on the apple, but the gingerbread one was nice. You know that time that you died four times, Mark? Yes. <laughs> do you think the lack of oxygen affected something? <laughs> yes, that's why I became a wood turner. <laughs> I used to be sane and drive buses. Now I'm mental and spin wood. Apparently, it's a Costco sized bottle, too. I've never been funny, but my brother's got a card for there. He's going to have to take me because I need to see this and buy it. Out of curiosity, Co Mark. Costco means you... big, hopefully. Out of curiosity, Mark, when you was a bus driver, did you break many wings then as well? <laughs> Take oh. these broken wings. Cute meme. Here we go. He <laughs> queued it up. Oh, did, oh, did you want me to play? I didn't. Oh, oh you think? Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? <clears throat> oh, I still have to go and find it now. Take uh -oh. these broken wings. You're funny. Scott's in. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> Scott's in, but hold on a minute. <clears throat> Is that a euphemism, Scott? Because... <laughs> but he's watching and smashing snowmen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the Brighton reference, is it, Scott, please? <laughs> um, we, did we say hello to Mr. Tidy Garden? He's playing with he's snowballs. No. He's from Cork City, and he's new to YouTube. Oh, right. How are you well, doing? We're not usually as mad as this, but actually, you might see them we're always as mad as this. Uh, Barry Chitty's telling Mark that Costa's new menu is out today. Oh, is it? Oh, I would we'll have to get one tomorrow then. <clears throat> I'll buy two and take one as a picture for Wayne. No, just get on the internet now. I'm sure if you uh, just say just eat, one will arrive. <laughs> Nearest cost Costa is like 25 miles away <laughs> for a £2.80 coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much she... delivery will be. <laughs> what is she in? <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's got it. <laughs> I can tell. That's a big old bowl, Bobby. Uh, Louis the Klondike, uh, Klondike Craftsman's in. Hello, mate. Hello, Louis. Howdy, Louis. How you doing, buddy? <coughs> Barry's saying that'd only be £7.60 delivered, Mark. That's enticing. Yeah, I bet they wouldn't send sawdust with it either. <laughs> oh, he never forgets, does he? Glenn's in. <laughs> Hello, Glenn. Glenn's How you doing? Hello, Hello buddy. Glenn. <laughs> hey, Glenn. Just need to do a bit more sanding on there. 
How was I not that's supposed to know you? You'd open the parcel I sent you while still being in bed. I was hoping you'd got a picture in there with it. <laughs> oh, me. Signed, signed autographed picture. Yeah, that's yeah. why he I mean, stayed. That's why he's a superstar now. That's why he stayed in bed, uh, Mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just park that one there for you. Oh, I didn't want to think. I had to go and print my own off. It didn't impress Vicky that I replaced her picture, though. <laughs> um, Lewis is asking you, Wayne, uh, is this going to be cast in resin? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be cast in resin. How about you? How about you? Wayne has checked. He now has a passport. <laughs> <laughs> and a desire to travel. <laughs> <coughs> Greg Alexander's in. Hi, Greg. Hello, Greg. <coughs> we have still got to look on the plus side about Wayne getting a passport, though. Jane still can't fly helicopters. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not sure if we just keep on bloody losing them. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you said hello to him earlier on, but Doug Miller's in. Hello, buddy. Hello, Doug. In fact, it's not even the the, the fly in them's fine. I mean, she bloody crashed the other day trying to land it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I'll. What have I got in me Dremel? And Andrew is asking, uh, question, question, is this going to be melanoid? Is it going to be what? Melanoid. Oh, yes, it definitely is. What, you mean you're not going to get the Yorkshire grit on the outside? I'm afraid not, no. Hand sand it. <laughs> He's already done that. As well. Don't get no more. <clears throat> Lynn's asking how to yeah. out without losing most of it. I think that may be the plan this time. Uh, Lynn. Uh, <laughs> a question from the chat for you, Wayne. Yeah. Uh, Phil Millar's asking, uh, Wayne, with the prospect of electricity prices spiking, uh, will you be crossing over to a treadle lathe? I'd pay to see that. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, this next electricity, in all seriousness, this next electricity bill I get through is going to be the first time I've paid for electricity in around about 16 years. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Paula's in. Paula's in. Hi, Paula. Hello, Paula. They're not going to be very Hiya, happy Paula. with you then, are they? <laughs> it's really annoying because I've got <laughs> I've got solar panels, so I haven't. Even though I, I pay my electricity bill, the money I get back from the government for mm. having the solar panels pays for my electricity. Uh, Michael McEwen said he received his maker's auction purchase yesterday. Stuart packaged it very well and it arrived as shipped. Looks much better in person than it did on the computer screen. Brilliant. Nice one, Michael. Well done, mate. Right. <coughs> nice John Scarborough's um, asking, is that the written rotten bit that you're roughing out? It is, yes. That's the rotten bit that I'm just getting rid of and it'll probably end up as a hole in the side, as will much of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glenn did ask, Almut, when you hollow that out, how's it going to stay together? It's, it, basically, it's not, Glenn. It may not. That's it why we're not. wearing face shields, mate. Uh, <clears throat> Mar uh, Martin at Woody's Creation asks, uh, why, Wayne, have you been stealing it? <laughs> no, the electricity. You, well, the panels. It's brilliant. <laughs> I've got solar panels here. They power my workshop during the day. <laughs> you thought about a water wheel, Wayne? What? To power your house. 
Well, the, the, see, that only happens every couple of years. It was getting flooded, so it probably wouldn't be financially beneficial. It had seized up by the time idea, the flood comes. <laughs> I mean, Jane, Jane is, Jane's been on at me since 2009 to build a bloody ark. <laughs> well, you need Brad to work on that, this... guy. Brad R is having to go through every parent's worst nightmare. He's having to help his kids with the homework. <laughs> oh, terrible, Brad. Oh, terrible. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> if you, um, to be fair, Wayne, I mean, if, if you can get Jane to learn how to fly and keep a helicopter, you can get them ones with the big, um, the big things on the bottom so they can rest on the water. Well, that's <laughs> true. Oh, well, they've got the floating pontoons, isn't they? Right, this part here is very thin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> extremely so, thin. Um, extremely thin, so um, the mortars might snap. Right, oh, if one of the questions is, if you get on a train at Manchester and it travels south at 75 mile an hour, how long before they serve sandwiches? The answer is, they don't. <laughs> My question is, what were you doing in Manchester in the first place? Yeah, true. Uh, I think Bonnie got dealt um, a, a picture card and an ace because she says pontoons. <laughs> oh, sorry, you meant the uh, things on the bottom of the helicopter, Bonnie. I'm with you. <laughs> Andrew Bundy Rose says, Ark needed here in Wiltshire after the biblical rain we've just had. I think you had the biblical rain after we did because we had it earlier yeah. today. Yeah, I've had it. We have had it all day. Pontoon, wasn't that, fil wasn't that a film with Charlie Sheen? It might have been. That was Platoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure it was Pontoon. I think he's right. Pontoon. <laughs> <laughs> What's that called? Blackjack or 21? Uh, Stuart and Greeley says, I told my kids that I'd only help with their homework if they help with the housework. Funnily enough, they didn't ask again. <laughs> there you go. Ben Jamin says he'd add a little blue tack for security, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Double-sided tape. Uh, the, fun, the fun's going to come when he uses CA as a finish. <sighs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I'd like to see that. <laughs> oh, Wayne's just lost another finger. <laughs> Serves him right for using CA as a finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you. Well, I've heard you can get a bad burn from friction polish as well. Oh, shut up. I was rushing. <laughs> 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 you get <laughs> still hurts too. Uh, Lewis is uh, Lewis says I got in late and I hate to ask, but what wood is this? Uh, I've got Lewis, no idea, Lewis. If you work no it out, idea. let us know. <laughs> we um we all had a good look and we walked away shaking our heads. Bro, I know I know it is definitely not Lalandi. Uh, it's too dark for that, isn't it? Mm, I can't see through my face shield. It's an evergreen of some sort, though. It might be a cypress. Well, the land I cypress. Oh. Mm. What does it smell like? Uh, at the moment, lemon oil. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> no, I did. I, no, Mark, in all seriousness, I did actually smell it before, and it doesn't smell like the land I. Right. Yeah. Stuart says, is it macrocarpa? Could be. Uh, Zed thinks it might be uh, knuckle busty airy. Fly you off the lady. Uh, Gav said it, it goes sniff sniff mark, just like we do. I think that may be in relation to uh, what does it smell like? Yes. <laughs> How does it smell? <laughs> if 
if it breaks, there could be a stronger smell set from, from Clint's bar. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Rob. Uh, Jacob from Jacked Up Leatherworks is in. And he's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Just a public service announcement for you, Wayne. <clears throat> it's uh, 25 minutes to the hour. Oh, thank you. You're working out that right, I reckon. 82 <laughs> people watching. How many, Jimmy? 82. Oh, nice. Very nice. Thanks for coming along, everybody. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, don't forget... Um, there's a fantastic opportunity out there to smash the thumbs up. Because my maths ain't good, but um, 32 thumbs up and 82 watching is easy. 50 people. Go on, you know you want to. AGK Andrews asked a valid question. Would the number one hollower do the same thing? Golf. Chuck. <coughs> and Douglas Mungham as well has also said, Wayne, are you going to use the number one hollower? <coughs> um, I may well do, to tell you the truth, yes. I'm beginning to think this number one hollower has got a bigger fan club than, uh, well, quite a few pop stars, to be fair. I'll carry on with the gouge as much as I can, though. <laughs> I'll drop your mic just a little bit there, Wayne. There you go. Um, Chuck, what? Glenn says he's, he's got one. I know Glenn's got one. He's posted pictures of himself holding it. But the thing is... Glyn did say he'd, he'd, he'd get me one as well, he said, but he had to get one first. Uh, and now I think that may have been a ruse just to, you know, rub it in a bit more. Glyn, I'll say no more. <laughs> uh, Andrew Bundy Rowe is asking, I believe Robert Klingspor, um, where can we get Klingspor abrasives in bulk rolls? Good question. It is a good question. And Rob's going to find out for him now. Well done. Kiski doesn't have a number one hollower either. Uh, I'm waiting for the punchline where he says, but I've just ordered one. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> You know, I don't have to come in here to have my love, love spuds kicked, but it does help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can pretty much go anywhere and it happens. Anywhere. I can pretty much go anywhere now. <laughs> any, any live you go into, it's going to happen. <laughs> I guess if I was going to a live, I could just text him. Yeah. yeah. I'll go into premieres and <laughs> the same thing happens. People walk, walking down the street, people shout at Chug. I don't know one all the way yet. Yeah. People I don't even know. You could even get a T-shirt with love spots on it. Chisky doesn't want one anyway, so that's fine. Look at that. The number one's out. Oh, it's yeah, been unleashed. Yeah. Oh, Richard Phelan's in. Hello, buddy. Hi, Richard. Hi. <laughs> oh, apparently, Robbie's saying there's a dealer search 
in our website. Just pop your postcode in, and it will tell you your local dealers. Now, that's oh, interesting to know. <clears throat> that's looking rather sexy, Wayne, to be fair. Yeah, it's getting there. I'm thinking. Yeah, they do quite a few different tools like that. Do the number that's two follower, there. number three follower. That yeah. bit there may well come off. Um, the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure about this piece here. This, it all depends on how thin I take this wall, but I reckon that piece there is going to come off. Hello, Gavin again. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello, Hello Mike. Make, make sure your face shields are secured, lads, because I think that is going to come off. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> we'll see. Look, look, I can hear face shields being put on. I've just ratcheted yeah, it, mate. I'm fine here. I'm, I'm safe and sound here. <laughs> uh, John T's sitting to the side of his laptop just in case. It certainly is. It's, it's looking particularly nice today. I think you'll be all right for the one more pass, though, Wayne. <laughs> Connie says, is your camera protected? What, you mean like with a password? <laughs> <laughs> uh, or a sheep. Uh, Brad Earl has a question. He said, "If I have, I have a maths question for you, Huey. If Andrew has a number one hollower, and Jamie gives him another, how many number one hollowers will be found in your shop? <clears throat> Depends whether I visit Andrew. If I just pick them up and then walk out and them out there with them above my head, <laughs> by the time he's been to fetch the step ladders, I'll be fine. I'll be gone. Yeah, it'll be like a walking star." <laughs> uh, Douglas is asking was it a root ball and were there any stones in it there, there was no stones in it and I've got no I don't think it was a root ball no mm. I got, but I've got no idea from which part of the tree it came from Cindy Keo. Cindy's in <clears throat> And this I, is getting very punky down here as well, which is why the uh, gouge is starting to act up and there's punky bits all over on the inside of this, tell you the truth. Came through the wood part, says Bonnie. <laughs> 90 lovely people watching and only 42 thumbs up. I think that's about 48 people. Got a fantastic opportunity. Push that thumbs. Oh, I'm going to get one in. David Nichols in says, hello, everyone. Been a long time since I've caught alive. Welcome hello, back, David. David. Ben Jarrett, all this turning, taking a number. 
She's gonna have to make a panini, me, 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 me. A panini, me, me, me. Ooh, that's got missing bits. Mm. And now for something completely different. A man with missing bits from his large. Large. <laughs> mm. Number 23. Could be. The large. The large. Yeah, he watched that as well. <laughs> now for an intermission. <laughs> Trees of the world. <laughs> one, one of the funniest ones I saw of them was actually at the cinema, and it was a Monty Python short, and it was about Venice. <laughs> uh, about holiday in Venice. It was brilliant. It was like a travel log type thing for Venice. It yeah, was yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Lewis is saying that does not, not look like any evergreen we have over here. Hang on. Yes, the first one for tonight, to anyway. tell you the truth, right, looking at it, looking at the colour of it, I'm starting to think this is apple. Hmm. Um, Brad has a serious question, Wayne. He says... Uh, do you use a specific bevel grind angle that you use for turning the corner of the wall to the base in your bowls? For example, 45, 55, etc. Right. I tend to use um, both my gouges. This is the half inch and my three eighths gouge. I tend to have sharpened at uh, 45, 45. Um, it's just that this is a double ended bowl gouge. So it's still a 45, 45 on the other end. But it's a, it's a longer grind, if you see what I mean. I'll, I'll just be able to show you. Like that one is swept back mm -hmm. more than that one. Yeah. And to finish off the bottom of the bowls, I use um, it's usually a half inch bowl gouge with a, a traditional English grind on that. Douglas <laughs> Mullen says, I saw pictures on Facebook of a bowl that looked about 20 foot across uh, and the turner was sitting on a special seat with a massive tool rest. Wow. Mm. Yeah, they did a, um, I think the world record one, which was about four years ago, I think, was something like 15 metres, I think. Mm. Something like that. And it was a glue up. Yeah, the glue up one, I've seen that. That was actually AGK and it was a six inch bowl blank. Oh. Gosh. True. <laughs> um, there is another good one that's there where there's some guys uh, turning a massive bowl and it's actually rig uh, rigged up to the back wheel of a tractor. tractor yeah, yeah, I've seen that one as well. Yeah, that's good. Andrew's not replied to that. I, I think you're in the uh, doghouse. He's probably wiping his kids away with his bib. <laughs> Bonnie's saying, Douglas, a lot of guys exaggerate on wood size. Mm -hmm. I think Bonnie's pra uh, practicing for Patreon. <laughs> I think she is. She's getting in the spirit of it. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, Gav. Uh, um, Gav saying Douglas, the uh, spindle turners in India or somewhere like that, sit on the floor with tools. Yeah, I've seen those as well, and some of the uh, the setups they've got, and they're doing it bare feet. It's just horrendous. It's so scary. Oh, Andrew is too busy laughing apparently. <laughs> uh, no, Stuart, it's it, it's a real thing. It was um, a record breaker for a while. <clears throat> it was, it was a Canadian it was, guy that used to do it. 
I can't remember if it was Stuart Mortimer or not, uh, but he was at a, a Wood Turner show was. in the at the nineties. In the nineties, uh, one of the big Wood Turner shows that we used to have across here, and he did a uh, at that time. It was a world record. Bowl. Him and about six others, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I was. I'm sure I was at that show. I've got one of his couches that he used. He used to train with Yandel. Uh, Douglas is saying, do you think they had enough HP from the tractor? No, uh, I think they used um, Heinz on their batches that day, uh, Douglas. Lewis is asking how close does that ground to the unbarrowed plane? Rob says, we have a video of some guy in India cutting people's hair with a four and a half inch angle grinder on the streets. <laughs> I don't think I want to see that. <clears throat> Andrew's using a bit to wipe his tears away. Yeah. Crap, been it's been it's like a bike <laughs> defense. <laughs> Right, <laughs> Holy crap! Stay there. Yeah, that that, uh, that branch is, stay, is still there, mate. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to go. It. It, it's going to go because I need to get this um, thinned down a bit. This is definitely going. This is around about now. <laughs> Uh, ben Jolly says he's not bragging, uh, but he holds the record uh, for the most catches in a 24-hour period. <laughs> <coughs> you obviously didn't see me practicing with a the skew then. Does that get it? Not still there. Try as you might, that top one might come off though. Oof, there it goes. Right, I feel safer now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all relative. It's all relative. He's right? it. got the spinning wheel of death there, and he says, I feel safer now. <laughs> I feel safer because I've got my face shield on. Chin chin. <laughs> I don't know why it held that for review. I don't know. I was just about to click it. <laughs> Who's that? Bonnie's put Bonnie. an emoji up with somebody peeking from behind a hand. <laughs> it held it for review. All right. Let's see if I can get the tourist. In a bit see, more. I told you she was getting close to the knuckle. Brad says you've got um, nerves of steel, Wayne, for turning those big gaps. It's rather unsettling. Well, Brad, he doesn't get kicked in the spud squad. 
That's because he's got a hollow there. Mm. Rob says, uh, I'm going to this would make a crazy looking hanging basket. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Hmm? Hang all your abrasive paper L. in it. Mark L's asked a question, but I'll say straight away, not a scraper, ever. He's asked, what is better when turning a lot of air, a gouge or a scraper? Yeah, not I'd a scraper. Gouge. You don't mm. want to Number be one a scraper off. in there. Well, no, to tell you the truth, I think I'd prefer, I'd, I'd still prefer a gouge, to tell you the truth. As much as I like the number one Holloway, I'd still prefer a gouge. It's, it's a different kind of pressure that you're applying with a number one Holloway or a scraper, and you're more likely to put it through the gap, and then you, you're into a world of pain. Um, Gabby's asking, uh, Wayne, can you explain your tool rest height as you're well above centre on the walls? Cheers. Yeah, I'm well above centre, but the tool rest height is actually below centre. What I've got, I've got the tool rest height set. Now, whenever you're doing the inside of the bowls, this is the way that, as far as I'm concerned, when you're cleaning out the inside of the bowl, this is the way you should do it. You start above centre, okay? Or you start on centre line and you go up in an arc so you're both centered, it all depends on the length of your, just shorten this handle a bit, shorten the tool a bit, so I can explain. You go up above center as you're cleaning out, and you come down and you finish your cut right on center. Yeah. That's basically how you should be cleaning out the inside of a bowl. So I always, so you're describing an arc. Yeah. That's, that's what you're actually doing with the gouge. Makes makes more, a lot more sense. <clears throat> Lost that cut now. David Nichols asking, would a curved tool rest allow you to keep the tool closer to the wood? Oh yes, definitely. Yep. Definitely. And Douglas asked, uh, are you having trouble with the amount of overhang? Looking gets complimented on it actually. Am I having trouble with what? With the amount of overhang. No, I'm not having trouble with the. What I'm actually having trouble with is all of these punky bits. Because what I'm actually doing, I'm going through solid wood and then I'm hitting the punky bits. And that's what's actually making the gouge bounce. Going through uh, soft wood and solid wood. Oh, hang on. Or another lump in there that's going to be coming out. Oh. He's just unbelievable, any Mark. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> uh, the best bit is, the best bit is, Douglas is telling me to kick the class. You get, yeah, you get blamed for it. <laughs> oh, I get blamed. For <laughs> right, I'm just going to sharpen this gouge. John Scarper's having to go. See you tomorrow, John. See you later, John. He Catch you later, John. John. Tomorrow. Sorry. I've lost the plot. <laughs> Brad Al saying, uh, would I, Brad? Would I, would I make that joke? Mm. On a Saturday, you yeah. Belt on the bridge. <laughs> What, are you going to put the blue one on? Put the diamond belt on that you stole off a green wine. 
<laughs> come on, <clears throat> come on, SK, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we can't carry it now. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Plenty uh, of time, what? mate. Plenty, <laughs> yeah, of time. plenty of time. Well, remember, Andrew's on the top last. <clears throat> okay, right. you're, only one, you're only one minute past the hour, mate. You've got plenty. So, that's so nice of you to care as well, Wayne. You don't want to pull him short, do you? Lucy's saying she's watching Wayne rather than the chat tonight. <coughs> so are we, Lucy. <laughs> Thanks, Lucy. I thought everybody come in here to watch me. How are you doing oh, something dear. like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some bloody bit that I jumbled it out. It hasn't gone all the way through. Right, where's my... I haven't used that one for a long time. Okay. <laughs> There's the other set of the bishop. That's a good one. The big guns are out. That's having to go. He says, night, everybody. See you all at the Harrogate. See you yeah, later. See you later, Gav. Have a good one, mate. <laughs> I think there may be a marital about to happen in the chat because uh, <clears throat> Andrew's saying, Andrew Bundy Rowe is saying, Lucy and I are watching at each end of the sofa. Hopefully, Lucy will put the kettle on. <laughs> and do the sofa to the kettle, really. Right, um, Dremel. <laughs> You get a tease made. Well, a bit like a houseman. Yeah, a bit you know, like them 80s or 90s. A bit, bit like a housemaid, JP. Is that what you're on about? Yeah, we well, get a, like a smart plug and tell it to start boiling. Yeah. Remind me to tell you about that bloke that um, that uh, had his house oh, housemaid. Lucy's. Lucy said, he can jog on. It's his it's turn. It's turn. Well done, Lucy. 
Yeah, remind me to tell you about that one, JP. <clears throat> I know this guy that, um, that uh, yeah, he, he had a house, mate. <laughs> Wayne, before you start, uh, Zed would like to know, should he have spaghetti and garlic bread or carnitas burritos for dinner? Spaghetti and garlic bread. Um, burritos. No, I think he should have um, uh, cheddar cheese um, on toast with some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> What's your sister sauce? Uh, Bonnie, says, Bonnie says she thought uh, Wednesday was your night to put the kettle on. I don't think it'll fit, though, Bonnie, to be absolutely fair. I'll put it on, but it'll probably only look like a hat. There we go. Wayne, is that a three quarter or a five eighths? That's a three quarter. It's a big list. Big old tool. John T said right. the kettle's on. Let's all go around. <clears throat> Time is it? You've got Six long enough to past. finish it. All right. What I'll do, I'll just finish this one straight from the tool. I'll be able to come back and get it sanded as a later date, but just to show you our site with the oil on, I'll stick some oil on. Andrew Bundy Rose says, anyone want to trade tools for Lucy? She's low maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and all of a sudden there's an auction started in the chat. <laughs> Country uh, goes in. Hi, country wood. Well, Hello, CWG. <clears throat> uh, Brad R is um, he's recommending that AGK has a spare number one hollower uh, to Andrew Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> and Douglas is saying melon oil real deep. It is deep. Yeah, this is definitely looking at the colour and the green and everything. I'd say this is definitely apple. Yeah, Zed thought it was apple as well, mate. Core. <laughs> you turned into a parrot. <laughs> All these little bits in here that are basically rotten, I'm going to dremel out and I might take, in fact, no, I was going to say I might take the bark off, but I'm not. But I'm going to dremel out all these rotten bits as well. Right, get it off the lathe and let you see what it looks like. Let's oh, you see, see what you could have won. <laughs> Benjamin's back. He's, he's been licking the cheese off the panini machine. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, I really worry about you. I worry about a lot of people, but you most of all. Yeah, Ben especially. Ben especially, yeah. Oh. Oh, looks like Brian's premiering in 30 minutes. Oh, well, that's very inconsiderate of him. We're going, to have, we're going to have two premieres on. Right, there it is, guys. <laughs> a nice piece nice. of burry, punky, in places, apple. Sort of natural edge-ish. Very nice. Very, very nice, mate. All right, let's bring the guys in. Stand by your beds. Oh, see, I had faith. I took my shield off. No, don't lie, don't lie. You've only just took it off because it's come off the lathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <sir. laughs> Plus, I couldn't drink me beer without it. <laughs> well, I've just, just got a straw. 
Thanks for all the nice comments, guys. Very much appreciated. Oh, and Andrew said, guess it's time for a beer. No need to put the kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> Never right. <clears throat> right. Um, to tell you the truth, tur turning, something, turning something like this is very similar to turning a deep ball, except it's got no sides. Two of the sides are missing. That's all. <laughs> Sounded like Swiss Tony there. Making a bowl <laughs> like this is very like making love to a beautiful woman. <laughs> Mark, where is the hollow form gone? Which one, Douglas? Mm. It's still there. Andrew, the road that. trip was um, tiring. Um, I think more so for Glenn because he did all the driving. Um, I only tended to do stuff when, when we when we stopped to pick up the layers down there, and when we stopped back at Glynn's to to drop the layers off. But Glynn did all the all the driving, so I think he was a hell of a lot more tired than than I was. Successful trip though, a very successful trip. Right, just quickly, what's coming up? Um, I think Scott's on tomorrow. Well, there's two premieres going to be on tonight, Brian and Andrew. Uh, Scott, I believe, is going to be on tomorrow night. I'll be back on Friday lunchtime. Um, Steve will be on on Friday night. Uh, Saturday, we'll have Saturday morning cartoons from Jake and Jamie. And then if you are a Patreon or a patron, uh, Jake will have his Patreon at half past six. Um, I'll be... Am I doing this Saturday night? Yes, I am doing this Saturday night. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be on on Saturday night. Um, Sunday oh, lunchtime... Sunday lunchtime, it'll be Steve again. Oh, sorry. No, that's right. Sunday lunchtime, yeah. it'll be Steve. Uh, Sunday afternoon, um, Jamie, if you're a patron of Jamie's, Jamie will have his uh, Patreon on, and Bunny's going to be on there. Yes. And then Sunday night, uh, I'll have a premiere on. Jamie will have a premiere on. Then we're back to uh, Monday again, starting with Terry at lunchtime. And hopefully Brian on the night. Can I just do a check on that, um, Wayne? Will it be Terry or is he away on holiday again? I've got no idea. <laughs> he might be in Hobbitshire because you know what he's like. No idea. <laughs> um, next Saturday, I. He's on vacation. <laughs> I'll not be doing a live on the 12th. Um, I'm going to Harrogate on the Saturday and I won't be back in time uh, to, to do a live. So, um, what, what day was so that again? That's Saturday. Saturday, Saturday the twelfth. I think it's the twelfth. I won't be able to do that one. Why will you be at Harrogate as well? No. <laughs> yeah, the twelfth is Saturday. And on that okay. note, thank you everybody for coming in. Very much appreciated. Thanks to my EUMs for keeping us up to date with what's going on in the chat. Oh, Wait, Andrew, I, EG. I, yeah. Pro tip for anybody at going to Harrogate. If you come up and say hello to either Wayne or myself or any other YouTubers, can you introduce yourself? Because all we see are names. You <laughs> know what we look like. We don't know what you look like. <laughs> Good point. <clears throat> it's the same at makers. When you're at makers, it's like, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. This per this person's talking to me, and they and they know me quite well. And I'm like, ah, oh. <clears throat> you get trapped in the headlights. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew <clears throat> AGK Woodworks is going to be at Harrogate. So if you want to see him and speak to um, Andrew, make sure you take your magnifying glass. Look, yeah, make yeah, sure you look down. down. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the wood turner. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Moranis. <laughs> Give me the one walking around with a step ladder. Because <laughs> he don't know his real ladder. <laughs> uh, uh, he's going to spot people's drinks, I'm telling you. <laughs> right, on that note, I'm pressing the button. doesn't know his real ladder. <laughs> I love that one. Right, the button's been pressed. Night, night, everybody.